told you guys earlier, uh, if we got an opportunity to put uh, some of the uh, investigation together, we'd come back and give you an update. Uh, I have with me right now uh, the district attorney, Ashley Rick, and she's uh, will kind of let you guys know uh, how we're going to proceed as it relates to the charges against the person that I identified earlier, uh, Mr. Marco Perez, as the suspect in this case. Uh, I'll turn it up to Ashley. We have um, been with the chief since um, right after this happened. Uh, we've been here with the investigators. Um, the evidence is still unfolding. This is very much still an active investigation. Um, however, at this time, uh, I am authorizing charges uh, against the suspect for capital murder. Anything about upgraded charges for his mother? facilitated his freedom we're not at that point at this time we are still uh, working on the evidence that has been unfolding all afternoon um, and it's just too early to talk about anything else our concentration at this point um, was on uh, Perez and we are charging him with capital murder actually have you spoken to mr. president as he as is he aware of, of what he's done and expressed any uh, remorse or made any sort of statement I have not personally spoken to him. Uh, he, he is he is definitely uh, here in the police department, and he will be questioned. Can you confirm that this is the same uh, teenager that made his disappearance earlier this month? I can confirm that, no. We understand, Ashley, that uh, the mother uh, of this suspect, are, have you looked into that case, and, and could there be a chance that uh, more charges could could follow her or any upgraded still charges very there. much an active investigation our major concern was making sure um, that uh, Perez was held accountable um, for his conduct and again we have authorized charges for him to be arrested and booked into Metro jail tonight on capital murder charges we, Actually, we, we all of that will will be looked at very very thoroughly over the next couple of days. This just happened mid-afternoon, and the police have done an incredible job putting together all of the facts, interviewing witnesses, and it's still very much ongoing. I'm going to be here much later tonight um, because that's what we're doing. We're just getting um, started. Ashley, you were out here since we saw you earlier at the hospital. This is, this is very important to you, and, and I'm Absolutely. sure your heart goes out to his family right now. Talk to us about how hard this has been for everyone today. Um, it is when something like this happens it literally rocks the, a community and I think everyone from the processional that happened to take uh, the officer uh, to the Department of Forensic Sciences the officer's body to the Department of Forensic Sciences you could see um, already just tonight uh, citizens getting out of their car um, paying respects um, as the caravan went by um, you could see people holding their hand on their heart Uh, as I said, because it's an active investigation, uh, we will not release any additional information at this time. Again, as we continue to go through the process of uh, conducting our interviews and uh, talking to different people, uh, it won't be until we've had a, a real opportunity to assess all the information that we have before we were able to talk about you know, the, all the particulars of the case. And again, because the case still has to go to trial, uh, we've always been reluctant to share information about an active investigation because uh, the arrest is the easy part uh, getting the conviction is the hard part and, and that comes from making sure we've done our, done everything right on the front end so that when we go to trial uh, we can be successful in our prosecution and we thank we're thankful to miss rich for for being here with us the entire entire time uh, but as she said she and I both will have late nights along with the rest of the staff trying to make sure we get to the bottom of this here and make sure that again the case is properly prepared for when we go to trial. This is capital murder because it is murder of a police officer. So that is the basis of what makes this capital murder. Um, and Ashley, I know you've been really passionate, um, especially lately, about higher bonds and longer sentences. Is this something you're going to be making sure that the suspect um, will be? Oh, we will ask that the defendant be held without bond um, until his trial, which, as you know, takes years. Um, we will ask that. It will be up to a judge um, to make that decision. But 
the Mobile County District Attorney's will stand firm, District Attorney's Office will stand firm, and we will ask for a no bond in this case. He was on probation, uh, as well as there was a warrant outstanding in the federal system for him. Would you seek the death penalty for a case like this? I have not even spoken to his wife or his family. We have a process, and we are just beginning that process. Well, Chief, what can you tell us about Officer Tudor, where he was from, uh, his age? Well, Officer Tudor uh, does not hail from, from Mobile. He's from the Jacksonville area. Uh, he is um, Officer of the Month uh, not, not long ago this year, I was in the last year. Uh, he's a, uh, a man that, that, that has a wife. Uh, he's, uh, he's, a, uh, he's a compassionate person. He, he has a commitment to serving this community. Uh, and the time that he served as Mobile Police Officer, he served uh, without question, with, with valor. Uh, it's a tremendous loss to, to his sisters and brothers in blue. It's a tremendous loss to this community, but it's an even greater loss to his family. Uh, he's made the ultimate sacrifice of laying down his life for others, people he did not even know. And so, uh, as I said earlier, I would ask that uh, you guys as media work with us and be patient with us as we learn information. Uh, we will share that information, but please be patient with us. Give us an opportunity to make sure that we're doing the right things and in, in, in involving his family in this part of the process because we want them, we want them to know that they have a voice uh, as we go through this process. And the only way we can do that is sometime to be slow down on the information that we're releasing so that they're engaged because our ultimate goal is to let them know that they're loved and they will never be forgotten by the Mobile Police Department and the citizens of the city of Mobile. Now, there were there were other officers at the scene at the time the shooting happened, is that correct? Well, uh, Mark, yeah. again, it's really not, mm -hmm. it's, we're really not gonna release mm -hmm. any more details. Okay. Thank you for asking and thank you for caring, mm -hmm. but again, it's, it's just not appropriate right now for us to release any more details. But Chief, I understand that Officer Tudor was uh, part of a task force, can you elaborate on that? Uh, or correct me if I'm wrong. I, again, I mean, right now the biggest thing is he's a member of the Mobile Police Department. There's, you know, there is no one area in the Mobile Police Department that separates all the other areas. Um, he's he's a brother, uh, brother in blue. And again, I, if you guys will just be patient with us, uh, we've tried to make sure that we've updated you guys incrementally. Uh, we'll try to do something tomorrow if we have some additional information, but, but just be patient with us. Uh, there are just things that we just cannot share with you guys right now. I think we've released uh, a photograph of uh, Officer Tudor. We've done the things that, that we believe uh, will uh, at least help people to get through the grieving process, but there's just so much more we have to do, and we'll just ask again that you guys be patient with us. And, uh, and we'll thank you guys uh, Keep in for mind, that. So this is something that the police, mobile police department has had to go through less than a year ago. And so, um, you know, it is, it is just a really, really tough thing for every one of these officers um, to go through just so quickly again. So the community I know will rally around the mobile police department. Um, they need thoughts and prayers and support. Thank you, Ivy, again.